This is what $50 can get you in Bali, Indonesia. In some of the very popular areas in Bali, prices for hotels have increased a lot, but there are still incredible deals to be found on this island if you know where to look. And one example of that is this pretty incredible $50 hotel, or I mean, it's more of a private villa actually. So let's have a tour of the place and see just what $50 will get you. And this particular hotel is obviously all about the view. You get a beautiful ocean view, the black sand beach and all of these cute little boats along the beach, the palm trees and all the little buildings nestled in between. And then of course you've got the huge mountains in the background. I mean this view alone is probably worth the $50 per night. And I'll talk a bit more about the exact area where we are in just a few minutes. But getting incredible views like this from your hotel is possible all throughout Bali. The other day we stayed at this $15 per night hotel in Bali. And just look at the view we got from that place. But of course there's more to it than just the view, even though it is amazing. So let's check out the full villa. So the villa itself is built in this traditional Balinese style, which is really beautiful and there's a lot of cool details everywhere. We even have this cute little temple right next to our villa, which all properties in Bali have. The hotel is called Shankara Parada Villas and we are staying in the superior villa. And we chose this one for a very good reason. We get this huge, a lawn or terrace right in front of our villa, which the other villas don't seem to have. So I also think this particular villa has the best view here. And there's only like five or six villas in this complex or hotel. So in front of the villa, we have this little cute terrace out here. Hi, Sally. And you just have a table and two chairs, clothing rack, and yeah, you can sit out here, have your morning coffee with this view. But let's head on inside and see what it looks like in there. And it's actually a very spacious room here. You got everything you need to have a comfortable stay. You have air condition, big bed, place to store your clothes and your luggage, a mini fridge, a desk and a TV and a kettle to make yourself a morning coffee. And the bed is very big and very comfortable, which is always important. Another thing I really like that they have is this water gallon dispenser here. Many of the hotels we have stayed in here in Bali don't have this. Which is a shame because you end up just buying loads and loads of plastic bottles of water. But with this one you can just refill the one you have, which is great and saves a lot of plastic. And right behind it you have another window with some beautiful views. And coming around here in the back we have the bathroom. also a very large bathroom actually. I think Sally is washing the dress she wore when we rode our scooter here. It was a almost a four hour drive so it got a little bit dirty. <laughs> and again it's like simple, clean, there's everything you need. It's not overly fancy but I mean you wouldn't expect that for $50. And yeah you even get a bathtub in this hotel which is kind of nice and Oh, it looks like there's a little guy who got stuck down here in the tub. Let's see if we can't help him out. Yeah, he's well stuck there, just trying to get out. Let's see if he wants to climb this Ugh, little spoon. Nope, come on buddy. All right, that worked, he is now free. That's actually a complaint that we hear from quite a lot of people coming to Bali. Oh, there's so many insects everywhere and I mean, you're going to a very tropical country, so that's what you get. And this hotel here also has an outdoor bathroom. And I mean, an outdoor bathroom is pretty amazing. It's very nice to be standing there in the rain, taking a shower or in the sun, but obviously then you just 
get a few visits from some insects. But that leads us to the final part of the bathroom, the outdoor shower part. It's definitely pretty neat, this huge outdoor shower. But I mean, it's only really this shower part here where you're actually open to the sky. The rest of the bathroom is covered up, but it is really like a very tropical vibe to be standing outside, taking a nice shower after you've been out swimming all day. That was it for the villa itself. Really nice, comfortable and spacious, and of course the amazing view from here. And for just $50 per night, I think this is amazing value and just really hard to beat. But of course, a big part of the price is the location. So let's talk about where exactly this hotel is located. So right now we are actually in Ahmed, which is in the east of Bali. So we drove here on a scooter that we rented and it took almost like four hours driving from Changu where we were staying before, but that included a lot of small breaks along the way. If you don't fancy a scooter road trip yourself, then you could hire a car to take you here. That will probably take around three hours and I'll try to find the average price it would cost and put it right here on the screen. Now, Ahmed is actually one of my favorite areas here in Bali, because compared to some of the other popular areas in Bali, like Kuta, Changu, Seminyak, Ahmed is really quiet and not over-touristed. But it is still touristy enough that there are a lot of nice hotels like this one. There's a lot of restaurants. So it's like a good mix of not overly touristed, but touristed enough that things are kind of built up for it. But what Ahmed is perhaps most famous for and why most of the tourists come here is for its diving, snorkeling and just the overall amazing marine life out here. There's also a couple of really cool wrecks nearby that you can swim with and both of them are like quite shallow enough that if you can't dive down you can easily see a lot of marine life just by snorkeling at the top. That also means that there are a lot of diving places here. You can easily get certified scuba diving, free diving, whatever you want. And the prices here are supposed to be very competitive. Pretty much wherever you stay in Ahmed, you're going to be very close to the beach. And we just have to go down here, downstairs, and then we're in the water. Let's go. And when we get back, we'll check out the rest of the property and of course, the pool area. This is Lipa Beach, beautiful black volcanic sand beach. And along the beach, there are a lot of restaurants and little bars. It's a great place to enjoy a little beer or a snack after you've been out in the water. And the water here is just so clear. The visibility is fantastic and the marine life is actually amazing here. And it's just swimming out a few meters from the beach. All kind of different colorful tropical fish. And if you're lucky, you can spot a turtle here. When you swim a little further out and it gets a bit deeper, there can be a bit of a current here, so be aware of that. But when you're staying more towards the shallow water, the current is usually not as strong. And it's even in the more shallow waters that a lot of the corals and marine life are. So we just spent like two hours out there snorkeling by this beautiful, beautiful Lipa beach. I can really recommend it if you're into snorkeling, scuba diving and free diving. But swimming around out there for a few hours also got us extremely hungry. But luckily, as I mentioned earlier, there's tons of great restaurants around here. So let's head out and see if, if we can't find one. We actually came out to, I think this might be our favorite little cafe restaurant here in Ahmed. It's called Kopi Kota Ahmed. They have a few different locations around Bali. It's just a little bit away from the main beach, so it's really best to come here if you have a scooter. But the food is really great. They have a lot of more Western food, but also some traditional Indonesian food. They have great coffee here and the prices are really great, especially for like for Western food. The prices are amazing.
We of course forgot our rain covers on our way back here, so we got completely soaked. But that's pretty much Bali in rain season for you. Very nice weather, sunny during the whole day and then here in the afternoon just a complete downpour. But since we're already super wet, let's just go and jump in the pool. That pool area is actually really nice. Just gorgeous views over the water, the bay. And there's this cute little gazebo where you can sit and chill and watch the sunset. And because this hotel is quite small with like just a handful of villas, you can easily have the whole pool area all to yourself. Now the sun is out and it's still raining a lot and the pool is actually very warm. Really a perfect way to end the day. If you do stay a few days here in Ahmed, there's actually a lot of other things you can do around Ahmed besides just snorkeling and diving. There's a lot of cool spots that are actually quite close by. And if you're the type of person who likes to get up for sunrise, there's this beautiful spot up in the mountains called Lahangang Suite where we went for sunrise last year. There's also this beautiful spot called Bukit Sinta. And this is basically just on the side of a road, but it's just a really beautiful view and a good place to take a little photo while you're driving around the rice fields. You also have a lot of temples very close by. Ahmed is actually a really great place to explore from. There's another fact that makes me like Ahmed, that from here you can easily take the boat to visit the Gili Islands. And taking the boat from here is just a lot better than from Padang Bay, which is probably where people usually take the boat from. But from Padang Bay, the trip is like three hours or something. And the waters are actually really rough, so it can feel like a really long trip and a lot of people get seasick. But if you take the boat here from Ahmed, the trip is a lot shorter and just way more comfortable. And if you are going to visit Bali, I always recommend that you visit the Gili Islands. If you want that island vibe, nice beaches, beautiful water and perhaps swim with some turtles. very popular activity here in Ahmed is to go and watch the sunset. There's like a particular point a little further up the road where you just get great sunset views. But I mean, since we got this whole area to ourselves, I think we're gonna try to watch the sunset from here. Good morning, it is now the next day here in Ahmed and today is actually my birthday. I turned the big 29 today and what a pretty great spot to be on a birthday morning. But now we're gonna have some breakfast which is included here in the price of the hotel and we asked them if we couldn't get them to bring it up to our room so we could enjoy the breakfast here on the porch. Breakfast is here, got some fruit platters, banana pancakes and I got some eggs as well and some coffee. Couldn't be better with this view. The food was great, the weather's great and I think we're just gonna chill here for the last few hours before we have to check out. So that was pretty much it for our $50 getaway here in Bali and if you are going to Bali you can watch this video right here which is my huge Bali travel guide where I talk about all the best things to do, where to stay and just all the information you would need to have a fantastic stay here in Bali.